morning friends i am vaibhav sharma from pit and s today we are having a concluded lecture on report writing the syllabus which we are to head is report types of report format of the formal reports to deliver the lecture dr sudhir narayan singh is with us i invite you sir to have an interactive session with our students thank you thanks a lot and for giving me this opportunity to extend the talk on the topic i would like to start and request you to take your seat first the concluding topic of the lecture is towards report writing and then here we will be talking we will be focusing on certain mechanics of writing writing style and we will be talking how to write our an effective report in the mechanics of writing and writing style there are various ways of developing writing various methods of improving and improvising writing style many of us think that my way or my way is not highway and they start fluently and frequently from the point they start thinking the way they think but this is not the right bit this is i would like to give you why this is not the right bit i would like to tell you a very small story there are seven blind persons they were supposed to describe an elephant how does an elephant look like and what happened they started describing in their own way one of the blind person touches the leg of the elephant and describes it reports that elephant is like a pillar another one touches the back of the elephant and says that elephant is like a wall the other one touches the trunk of the tusk of that elephant and says that elephant is like a python the other one touches the tail of the elephant and says that elephant is like a broom so on and so forth while having the comprehensive vision you might be thinking that none of them are wrong they all are partially right but they are not doing justice their report is not accurate their report is maybe uh, you can their report is maybe partially true it it is based on the partial facts so somewhere we need to honor the opinion of the others we need to develop a comprehensive opinion to establish the comprehensive thought and then we will be able to curtail this philosophy of my ways are the highest it should not be false that subjective expression we can describe anything subjectivity uh, in the subjective language as per our own choices desires will but that may never be right because if i am describing something in a subjective way i may be exaggerating the data as to meet out my own requirement and that must not be followed and language for a good report must be imperfect it must be written in an objective language and so subjectivity subjective expression are again another possible negative then then we are supposed to identify the objectivity of the language and then inductive and deductive logic inductive and deductive logic these are two methods of explaining the same thing one begins from part to whole and another from whole to part like if suppose that i am describing a situation first i will be thinking like in 
Africa or there is Asia. And inside Asia there is a country, India. Inside India we are in Haryana. Inside Haryana we are at Vivani. Inside Vivani we are representing an institution, the Technological Institute of Textile and Science. Inside CIT we are from the mechanical engineering branch and inside mechanical engineering branch there is one lecture going on. Inside that lecture one of the teachers are giving him deliberation on report writing that is one of the topic of the syllabus and in that topic we are having the concluding talk, concluding lecture. So what, what is the method? this writing or this speaking, this method is we are traveling from old to past. We are trying to filter out, filter out the complete information from the event data for collecting data and then filtering out the complete information. This is known as data filter. In the reversible order we can represent the same thing and that can be inductive logic. So these are two methods, two dynamism of writing, two methods of writing. Another, then later on we can talk about journalistic approach. Journalistic approach is like that, it requires when we are going to write a report for media, producing for media writing, press report writing. The it is based chiefly depending on what, when, how, where, why. All the
while writing the report, we should not go exaggerate the data, we should not overdo, rather we should be as simple, as straight as possible, as direct as possible, as you said. Next. Then, format and structure of a report. Now we are going to discuss inside the extensive uh, part, is part of, and we will be focusing extensively on the part of report. Like, uh, structure of a good report can be divided into three parts front fighter, main body, back. Next, please. So, these three parts we will be focusing one by one, and this is front matter we are going to talk here. Front matter, the first part of the front matter is first it begins with the cover C. What, what should be the cover type of a report? If the report is thicker, it may carry hard cover. If it is, and it is of greater significance, or it may be of a type like paperback. Report may be containing paperback. And then the cover color could be light. Then there comes title page. Then frontage piece, copyright notice, and then forwarding label. After the forwarding remarks, there will be preface, then acknowledgments, and then table of contents, a list of illustrations. Finally, abstract or summary of the or even executive summary. These things should be discussed as the part of front matter. Next. Main body. Main body of the report should contain these materials, introduction, discussion, conclusion and recommendation as we have discussed in our first part, introductory part, that no report can be complete or can be good without recommendation. Recommendation is one of the most important part and it must recommend after analysis that uh, what, how to sort out the problem. How to, how to accelerate the positive things and how to motivate the people if it is related to, you can say, managerial part. Next. Then the back matter comes. Report writing back matter is, uh, contains these major things. First is appendices. Inside appendices, what type of information should be there? Additional charts and graphs, sample, questionnaire, worked out and calculation, worked out calculation, site plan and so on. All these things could constitute, you can say, appendix. Then there comes references. Inside the report, while preparing the report, how many lines you have taken, how many material you have borrowed from other sources, you must refer to. And then, this is known as references. Sometimes people write work cited. Instead of writing this word, they write work cited. And reference, the meaning of reference is list of words cited. Borrowed, you are borrowing, intellectual borrowing from there, you must acknowledge the source. Then there comes the bibliography. Many a times, people confuse, they get confused about these two things. They think that they are synonymous to each other. But this is never like that. Reference is the list of works cited, whereas bibliography is the list of works consulted. Citation may or may not be there. Are you clear about the fact? Let me stress it once more. References is the list of work cited where the direct borrowing is done. At the same time, when we are talking about bibliography, bibliography is the list of works consulted. Citation may or may not be there. Means in the process of preparation of report writing and data collection, the report reporter has gone through so many uh, things as a part of data survey, data collection. 
and those days he he did not sometimes he borrowed sometimes he didn't borrow and then ultimately that becomes the list of uh, that list should also be provided in order to make the report transparent and genuine in order to maintain that genuinity that reporter should produce the list of works consulted and that will be called